midweek through Oshkosh 2017. It's been a great week for news, a lot of interesting stuff happening, but the best part is, is that avionics in particular continues to be innovative, disruptive, and pushing us in ways we never thought possible just a few years ago. Tell us what's new with MGL. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having us. Um, of course, we continue to develop our um, IEFAS line and our IEFAS Lite uh, line of products. Uh, our IEFAS Lite is a great all-in-one EFAS with a built-in GPS, a built-in pedostatic system, and probably the easiest EFAS to install in an experimental aircraft today. And of course, still the most flexible EFAS around. You can design your own screen layouts. So that product continues to be developed and we have software updates every month or so. But for Oshkosh this year, the new products we have are all a bit smaller. And um, they include our Razer touchscreen mini EFAS slash controller. Our Razer is a touchscreen mini controller that fits in a three and an eighth inch hole, round hole. It's a kind of portrait style touchscreen display. It can be used to control a radio, a nav radio, a transponder, and it can be used to display ADS-B traffic. And we also will have multiple models available that could be mini EFASs. There's multiple functions that we can apply for this framework. And we plan to have many of them available by the end of this year. And also units that can expand on EFAS functionality like autopilot control, a dedicated autopilot controller. And uh, hand in hand with this uh, Razer control system, we have a new remote radio a VHF transceiver called the V16, which is a, a more than 10 watt radio transceiver remote box that is controllable from the EFAS and also from the Razer controller. And we also have a nav receiver, so you can have VOR, ILS, glide slope in the cockpit for a very affordable price. So those are some of the remote products that are going to be paired with the Razer control head from MGL Avionics that's new this year. And on top of that, we have a new line of color singles. They fit in a two and a quarter inch hole. And we have multiple units with functions such as airspeed, altitude, little mini EFAS, engine monitor, fuel computer, thermocouple monitor, so we have a full range of these beautiful, gorgeous color screen, two and a quarter inch instruments that will be a great addition to our line of singles, which still sell very well. Also new for 2017 is the iEFAS MX-1, which is our first portrait style EFAS. It's our first capacitance touchscreen that we have produced, so it allows pinch and zoom and swipe controls. It's very similar to the iEFAS Lite in terms of functionality. It has a built-in AHARS, it has uh, built-in pedostatic sensors and a built-in GPS, and you can still connect engine senders to it and multiple uh, external devices. So it's basically an extremely functional mini EFAS, and it's going to sell at a very low price. Oh, I got to ask, how low? I mean, it's going to be in the region of twelve ninety-five. Price is not yet set, and that's excluding all the peripherals that are needed for engine and compass and things like that. Matt, thanks for joining us on Aero TV and Airborne, and we can't wait to see what's next. Thank you so much, Jim. Appreciate it. Aero TV is brought to you by... We started with a 14-inch longer fuselage, high-end interior finishes, Garmin G3000 flight deck, and a fourth window to give additional natural light to the cabin. We then redesigned the wings and horizontal tail, increasing the wingspan by a full four feet. Welcome to the jet life. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing and crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com.